Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's objectives are to identify Gregor Mendel's genetic principles and differentiate between alleles and genes. Over the next couple of tutorials, we're going to take a look at Mendel's uh, theories of inheritance. The first thing that we need to do is get the definition of genetics out of the way. It's very simply put as the study of heredity. Every living thing inherits characteristics from its parents. I'd like to take a second to introduce Gregor Mendel to you. He was a priest who worked in a monastery garden, and he worked with garden peas. He knew that garden pea plants uh, produced sperm and eggs, which would join with fertilization. He chose pea plants because reproduction happens very quickly, and data could be collected uh, very quickly and in mass amounts. There were additional reasons why Gregor Mendel chose pea plants. Uh, another reason was is that they're true breeding, which means they are self-pollinating. They will deliver sperm and eggs to the same plant that they are. So one plant will produce its own sperm and own eggs and will basically just self-breed. That means that all the genes and characteristics would stay and get carried on to the next generation. What he did is he took a stock of seeds that produced all tall plants and he took a stock of seeds that produced all short plants. One of those stocks of seeds produced green seeds, the other one produced yellow. Uh, Mendel wanted to join reproductive cells from these two different plants and he wanted to see what would happen, what characteristics would show in the next generation. In order to cross-pollinate two different types of pea plants, he had to perform some surgeries on these pea plants. So Mendel cut away the pollen-bearing parts of one plant and then dusted the pollen from the other plant onto that flower. This produced seeds with two parents. Let's take a look at some definitions that we're going to run into when talking about Mendel and genetics. Uh, we're going to look at some definitions and we're also going to show examples using Mendel's uh, pea plants over here, uh, this chart. So a gene is a unit of heredity that is transferred from one parent to an offspring. It's the chemical makeup of a characteristic. So if we take a look over here, uh, the gene that we're looking at in this diagram is color. It's the chemical makeup that makes purple flowers purple flowers and white flowers white flowers. The different variations of that gene are known as alleles. So when we look at color, the chemical makeup uh, for color in these pea plants, we have purple as an allele and we have white as an allele. Now when we look at a specific characteristic that varies from one offspring to the next offspring, that is uh, flower color in this uh, diagram. So the trait for this pea plant would be purple flower and this pea plant would be white flower. The last thing I want to do is look at some generations. First we have the parental generation. These are the parents or the original generation. Uh, true bred generation. So what that means is this uh, flower right here, one parent, has two alleles for the purple flower. So both alleles are the same. Same thing for the white flower. This parent has two alleles for the white flower. Now when we cross these two parents, uh, we create hybrids. So when you pass down traits from parents to offspring, uh, you're going to get one allele from mom and one allele from dad, or in this case, one allele from the purple flower, one allele from the white flower. And that's going to make a hybrid. So if we would look at this, uh, each flower would have a purple one, purple allele, and a white allele. And this is the F1 generation. The F1 generation means first filial, which is Latin for, for first son or daughter. Now when we mix these hybrids, when we crossbreed two hybrids, we're going to make the second filial, the F2 generation. 
And in this generation, Mendel recognized that 75% or three quarter of the plants have purple flowers and one quarter of the plants have white flowers. So in the P generation, we had one purple and one white parent. In the F1 generation, they were all purple. In the F2 generation, we had 75% purple uh, flowers and 25% white flowers. What we have to do from here is we have to figure out uh, basically what Mendel figured out. He wanted to know why in the F1 generation did the white flowers go away. The data that Mendel was able to collect in the previous slide with the different generations in terms of the flower color uh, was enough information to help him make two conclusions. The first conclusion is biological inheritance, which is when genes are passed from one generation to the next. We looked at the white and the purple flowers and we saw how they were passed from the parents to the offspring within the parental generation, the F1 and the F2 generation. The next uh, conclusion he was able to make is the principle of dominance. Uh, this simply states that some alleles are dominant while others are recessive. Before I go over the rest of the principle of dominance, I want to point out uh, the P1 generation, the F1, and the F2 generation when it comes to alleles, and I'm going to use a Punnett square to show you this. The P1 generation, we took a purebred white uh, flowered pea plant and a purebred purple flowered pea plant. And what we do here with the Punnett square is we give the alleles a letter. So a capital P means purple, a lowercase p means white. So with the uh, purple purebred plants, we gave them both capital P's. So if we take one of these uh, pea plants, it has two alleles and it's going to be a capital P and a capital P. And then the white pea plants are going to have two lowercase p's. Then to simply fill out the Punnett square, you just take the allele that is passed down from the one parent and the allele that's passed down from the other, and we get a, a capital P and a lowercase p. Uh, this is called a hybrid. It means that it has one allele from the uh, one um, from the purple and one allele from the white flower. So that gives us a uppercase P and a lowercase P. And because they are true bred or pure bred plants, all four of these boxes are going to be the same. Now when we look at this, uh, we came up with the question, why are all these plants purple? Why are none of these plants white? So let me revert back to the principle of dominance that says some alleles are dominant while other alleles are recessive. In this case, the dominant allele is the purple because it shows up in this F1 generation. So what we would do is we would say, okay, the purple capital P allele is dominant, the lowercase allele for white is recessive. So an organism with a dominant allele will exhibit it. it. So in this case, if there is a capital P and a lowercase p, it would be purple, or two uppercase p's. They would both be purple situations. An organism with a recessive allele will exhibit it only when the dominant allele is not present. All right, so it will only be white if both of the alleles are a lowercase p. So in order to get that, we need to look at the F2 generation. What we did is we took two of these hybrids, and we cross them. So capital P, lowercase p, capital P, lowercase p. When we brought this uppercase p and this uppercase p down, it was a purple plant. Uh, here we get a hybrid. Here we get a hybrid, and they're both purple plants. But in the F2 generation, we get a lowercase p and a lowercase p, which give, gives us a white plant. So in 75%, three-fourths of the outcomes, we have a purple plant, and one-fourth, we have the white plant. And the principle of dominance really 
shows us how um, Mendel's data was correct. It shows us why uh, we do not have that white plant in the F1 generation. It's simply because there was never a situation in which there were two lowercase p's. I hope that this slide helps uh, helps you understand the mental thinking of Mendel. He was a thinker and he thought through these and made these conclusions based on his evidence and over here is a simplified version of his evidence. He did this in with using many pea plants so it's not just based on the outcome of one pea plant and he did this for many different characteristics as well. So I just brought back the uh, the Punnett squares from the previous slide and I want to go over three different conditions with you. Homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive, and heterozygous, which means hybrid. In a homozygous dominant situation, uh, that just means that both of the alleles are the same for the dominant condition. So our purple flowers, big P, big P, is a homozygous dominant um, flower where the white, little p, little p, is a homozygous recessive. Homozygous just means that they have the same allele. Recessive means that it's the uh, one that is recessive and not dominant. And the last one is heterozygous, which means hybrid. It means it has a big P and a little p. The last thing is uh, I told you that Mendel did this for uh, these Punnett squares and collected data for multiple situations. Uh, he looked at several different characteristics that the pea plants had and this diagram does a pretty good job of showing that seed shape, seed color, seed coat, uh, pod shape, pod color, uh, position of the flower and the plant height. So if we look at all the parentals he took a purebred round and wrinkled and he found out that the round one was the dominant of the two characteristics or the two alleles. And he did this for each one of these characteristics. So each gene uh, had two different allele types. Okay, for pod color, uh, that is the gene. The characteristic is either red or yellow, and those are also your two allelic types. You have a green allele and a yellow allele. So hopefully this uh, clears up a little bit more about his principle of dominance. So today's objectives were to identify some of Gregor Mendel's genetic principles. Uh, we looked at the principle of dominance and we looked at inheritance, uh, biological inheritance, the way things are passed from parents to offspring. We also took some time to differentiate between alleles and genes. Uh, genes are just the chemical makeup of uh, a characteristic and the alleles are the different types uh, or different variations of that gene. If you have any questions please bring them to class tomorrow. Remember wherever you go that's where you are.